Hey friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It. And today we're gonna make these cute little keychains using permanent adhesive vinyl and transfer tape. So this is the vinyl that I'm using right here and it is permanent adhesive vinyl. And so I've already cut a little kind of rectangle. It's two inches wide by three inches long and I've put it on here and we're going to go ahead and cut my design. Okay, so I have already uploaded the design that I'm going to cut out to the Cricut Design Space. And up here at the top, let me play with it. Up here at the top, I've already done up here the height to 2.5 inches and so that I know that it's gonna cut at the right size. And so then we're gonna go to the top right over here where it's green and say, make it. It's in the right spot in the little corner. We do not need to over here, we do not need to mirror it at all. And so I am going to go ahead and push continue. And so for this, I'm just gonna cut it the normal vinyl setting and then we're gonna go ahead and cut it and see how it does. Okay, so over here I am selecting just the normal vinyl setting right there. Okay, let's go ahead and load it in for our cutting. And now let's cut it. Okay, so hopefully you can see that right there. So it has cut it really well and it is ready for us to weed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed it right now. So I'm using my little Cricut tool. Okay guys, so I am now done weeding it and I need to get the transfer tape so that we can get ready to put it on the keychain. Okay, and here I have the transfer tape that I'm gonna use. And so I'm gonna cut a piece of transfer tape about the same size as the piece of vinyl I used so that it will cover all of the words on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it real quick. Okay, so here's my piece of transfer tape. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the back of it off. Okay, now you're left with the transfer tape that kind of has like a grid pattern on it, and I'm going to put it over. I'm using my little Cricut scraper to make sure it's on there all the way. Okay, so now that it's on there, I'm gonna peel it off this way. If you see that anything is not stuck, like the O oh, wasn't stuck very well. Okay, there we go. So now all of my words are on here. And then I have my keychain right here that we're gonna place it on. So let me make sure it's really clean first. Okay, the keychain is ready. You guys, I'm trying to do this while I'm standing over it, but also the camera's over it. So hold on one second. Okay, I'm trying to get it really lined up. That's the great part about having the grid on the transfer paper. So hold on, be patient with me. Okay, there we go. Use your scraper. Okay, so you see right there, now we're gonna peel off the transfer tape. If it's peeling off any of the letters, we gotta push it harder. And one thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that the transfer tape is actually reusable. I usually get about three to four, sometimes even five uses out of one piece of transfer tape. So once you're done with it, go ahead and put it back on the backing that it was on and save it for later. Okay. There we go, you guys. It looks so cute, so perfect. And that's how you use the adhesive vinyl and transfer tape to put it on something, a plastic or wood or whatever you wanna do. Okay, so all the keychains that I'm showing you right now are actually keychains that I sell in my Etsy shop, which I will link them in the description below this video in case you're interested in buying one. But if you wanna make one yourself, I will link all the supplies that I use as well. So I found these super cute little tassels online, and then these are just jump rings, a key ring, and the keychain. And so some of it's from Etsy, Amazon, Michaels, all over. So I'll make sure I link each individual thing so that you have everything you need. But it's really simple, just two jump rings in two different sizes. I'm gonna go ahead, I have these little uh, jewelry pliers. I'll link them as well. So you just grab, if it's not open, you go ahead and open the larger jump ring. You're gonna stick it through the key ring and through the keychain. And then you're gonna use your pliers, one in each hand, to close the ring. So you're just squeezing them back together. The idea is you want the metal, the metal to touch. Hopefully you can see that. It's kind of grinding on the other side. So you want you wanna feel the metal touching each other. So if you're just going back and forth and it's just air, 
keep pushing them closer together using your hands to get, make sure the metal is actually touching. Side note, I used to work at James Avery and spend a lot of time soldering charms on. This is very similar. I just don't have the solder machine to actually like seal the metal. I wish I did. Um, if, if the metal is not touching and it's just too far apart, you can always use your pliers and squeeze it like that to get the metal closer together. So now you have the keychain on the key ring. All we need to do is add the tassel. So you use the smaller jump ring. I did gold just because the tassels have gold on them. Obviously, you could do silver um, like this. And you just go through the little ring that's on the tassel already. That's the tassel already came made like that. And then through the key ring as well. And then you close that jump ring. Ta-da! Super, super easy. Nothing complicated to it. So that way, if you want to make your own keychain, put your own little phrase, your own little inside joke on it, you can do it yourself. And there's tons of different colors of keychains. I'll link the keychains. The supplier I bought them from was really good. It was the best price I could find, and they sent them really quickly and had other colors. So I'll link those. That way you can pick your own color. Like I said, do your own phrase, teacher gifts, inside jokes, birthday gifts, whatever. Personalize it with your kids' names if you want to. They make really great like party favors, um, bridesmaids gifts, stuff like that. So... I will link all the supplies in the description below this video. I will also link the ones I made in my Etsy shop. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye.